Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I'm up in North Grand Forks. Just checking things out here. I have a friend here that has a farm, right here. And it's enormous. This road, all the way to the mountain, to the river. All the way, it's like, I don't know how many acres. It's enormous. It's far as the eye can see, uh, big. All this here is the, the, the home. There's Rosie inside, actually. Rosie's inside, look. Yeah. So we found uh, uh, a good friend. Well, friends of, of our friends, basically. So this is what they're... Uh, they're uh, the gentleman that lives here is getting up in age and collected a lot of stuff over the years, which is normal. And this would be a great great farm to live off grid one because it's already fenced the property's already fenced off you don't have to spend money on kind of those kind of things those things are important creating boundaries on your property and stuff that's already done the land goes all the way down there and then it goes all the way to the back of that mountain there so what you could do with a place like this for starters is you could solar panel that shed right out that's first, if you bought this place. I think if it was to sell this place, not all that land, you don't need all that land over there. It's way too much land. If it was to sell this place, just the house and this land here, I think you'd ask maybe 190 for it. Maybe, but all that land, it's gonna cost anywhere from maybe 750 to, to almost a million dollars. But that's, that's so like maybe 30, 40 acres of land. That's way too much land. Anyway, so if you wanna just do a, a hobby farm, so your line is all the way up where that chair is. Let me show you, let me zoom into the chair. There's a chair up there, a plastic chair. Okay, your line ends up right there. And it's probably half a kilometer to even get up there. Maybe a kilometer to get up there. It's pretty long. Anyways, so this is, this is what I do if I was to off-grid or build a hobby farm here. First, hobby farm off-grid, okay? This is what I do. First thing I do is I clean out everything in that garage. And then I would solar panel that entire roof. That, that roof is very, very solar panel-ish because it's, it's already metal. It's, it's designed to get bolted into. And you know what I mean? It's designed for rigorous weathers and stuff. And you could easily weld down a frame and put your solar paneling in. And then in the back of the house, in the back of the, in the shed, I just put the back end, I just put batteries in the back. It's a two-car garage separate from the house. And you can still park your car and then, you know, then over here, I'd solar the panel out of this little side shed there, and the roof to give property to the to the house. And then this section here, of this part, say so again, it's a metal roof. Mind you, it's gonna be noisy when it rains, but right there, solar panel the crap out of that. And then here, you plug into the grid a nice lighting system going around your fence, just like so. Then. I would actually pave, I'll get this paved because it looks so, I just hate dirt roads. I don't mind them, even in the country I don't mind them. But on property, you could make a nice nice entrance here, you could pave it. You could even put, uh, what do you call it, um, asphalt. Okay, or, see this little house here? I'd actually use this little house for a battery storage, uh, like a place to put batteries if you're gonna go off grid. So you'd have power and then you run, run all the solar power here Clean this thing out, okay? And it's big enough. You could run batteries right up to the ceiling. I think that would be fantastic. Then back here, look at all this land. Holy smokes. Okay. Here, I'd run the hobby farm. Here, I'd run the hobby farm. Like the actual crops and stuff. Right there. I grow right here. I'll leave it as is. I'll even fence it off to keep out um, deer and stuff. And then that little house there, there's a little house there that's his, probably put um, a chicken coop there. I think that's a chicken coop, to be honest with you. I think it already is a chicken coop. To be a, uh, maybe I take a walk there. I really don't want to walk through the guy's garden, but I think that is a chicken coop. Yeah, it is. So I think that would work for a chicken coop back there. Then I'd get something, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not sure what animal it is that basically would go out and just eat all his grass. 
get one of those or get two of those. I think it's the um, goats or something. Something that would go out here. I know, I know, I know um, cows. Get a few cows. Just get them to eat this grass. You don't have to cut it. So just get cows out here that provide milk on a daily basis. I think that's a great idea. And then what else can you do with this place? I mean, there's so much. Get your cows. Maybe you get a horse to help you plow the fields. So much land. Then this, this could be your workshop. You could transform this into a, a workshop. And you could put your, uh, you know, solar panels and stuff. And then for water, you could get a rain catching system just above there. A huge water catching system that would basically go in. And then you would have an electric water heater. And you'd have an electric heater in the house. Which will be powered by your solar power. And initial, initializing you all pretty much off grid. Once you have a constant supply of energy and enough batteries to store the energy for a couple of weeks, in case you went into some darkness or your 28 days of night, you have the power on hand. So there's lots of potential. You could have a beautiful patio here. You could put an above ground pool here if you want. Pave the entrance. Maybe even put a private. A private entrance here, like like a, a gate to come in and a gate to go out. Just put a fence out front. You could do that too. That's also possible, right? Then this is all his land. This, I, I mean, this is beyond me now. This is like, I wouldn't know what to do with this. Maybe grow corn and sell it or something. Like, I have no idea. Maybe rent the land out. Maybe if you bought this land, you could rent it out to farmers to come here and work it. And then they could do what they have to do with it. But... That's really out of my league. But something like this, off-grid, it's away from everything. There's no gas lines running through here, so everything in that house is electric. So you don't have to convert everything. You get the solar panels up there. I think you could make this place into a, a wonderland. And then, like I said, you get a water catching system above that little atrium-y thingy. Well, nice water, strong water catching system with the pump. Buy a pump from the Home Depot Canadian Tire. Pump the water into the hot water tank. And I think you're pretty set. I'm pretty sure you could tap into the existing water. I'm not too sure about water, but then you could put some rain barrels here, rain barrels there to water your garden if there's if there, if it's dryness. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm just kind of throwing some ideas out there. There's a lot of potential in a place like this. There's lots of land. Lots to... Then you could have a separate garden here up front. For just like stuff like mint and thyme and other stuff, you know, like just stuff for seasoning, create seasoning and stuff. Yeah, you can make this. You can make this into a really nice, attractive place. It is. It's a nice place now, but I mean, you can make it into a really nice place if you put a, you know, a, put a couple of couple of months of labor into it. You could get a really good off-grid system going here and kind of do your own thing, you know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below.